Hello, my name is Dr. Hattengadi Gluth, and I'm an assistant professor and researcher in the Department of Radiation Medicine and Applied Sciences at UC San Diego Morris Cancer Center. We're publishing an article in the upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings titled, Disclosure of Industry Payments to Physicians, an Epidemiologic Analysis of Early Data from the Open Payments Program. To give some background on this, physicians and surgeons have long collaborated with biomedical industries that is, drug and device companies, to bring the latest medical innovations to their patients. However, there is concern that financial relationships between these companies and physicians can create conflicts of interest. A conflict of interest for a physician is a secondary interest that creates a risk of bias or undue influence on medical care. For many years now, federal policymakers have tried to increase the transparency of these industry physician financial relationships through legislative action. In 2010, the Physician Payment Sunshine Act was signed into law as a provision of President Obama's Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. This led to the establishment of the Open Payments Program, which is run by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. This program collects data and records of all industry payments to physicians, and the data is freely available online. The first release of open payments data was made in December of 2014 and included 4.5 million records of $3.7 billion in total value for payments from August to December of 2013. The purpose of our study was to characterize industry payments to physicians and determine how the patterns of these payments vary by specialty. We also looked at ownership interests in manufacturers, which was held by physicians or their immediate family members. We grouped specialties by specialty type, medical specialties, surgical specialties, and other specialties. We found that allopathic and osteopathic physicians received 2.4 million payments in the latter half of 2013, totaling $475 million. Internal medicine physicians and orthopedic surgeons received the greatest total value of payments. But in, inter in internal medicine, this value was split over a much greater number of doctors. Cardiovascular and gastrointestinal specialists received the greatest number of payments. The greatest proportion of doctors that received industry payments was seen in neurosurgery, cardiovascular specialties, and gastroenterology. Payments were mostly in cash or cash equivalent. We also show in the article the median and mean values of payments per physician within each specialty. What we found is that these data are quite skewed, that there are a few physicians in some specialties who receive very high payments which drives the mean or average payment up. But the median payment, or the value in the very middle of all the payments across everyone in that specialty, is much lower. You can see this demonstrated here in orthopedic surgery and neurosurgery. Ownership interest was limited to very few physicians within each specialty, though the median values of these interests per physician tended to be on the order of several thousands of dollars. The nature or reason for payment by the number of payments was most commonly for food and beverage. But when we looked at the proportion of the total value of general payments, much of these were for consulting, speakers fees like speakers bureaus, and royalty and license payments, which made up a considerable proportion of value in surgical specialties. So what does all of this really mean? Well, these data really need to be interpreted in their specialty-specific context. We don't have a clear understanding of whether these relationships are harmful or inappropriate. And in fact, without critical relationships between physicians and biomedical industry, innovation in healthcare with respect to drug and device development and that delivery to patients would suffer. However, some financial conflicts of interest among physicians may be problematic especially if they affect patient care and drive up health care costs. Now that industry payments are legally required to be reported through this open payments program, it may deter physicians from engaging with industry, and that may or may not be a good thing. Certainly, it's important for us to use open payments to understand the nature and extent of these financial relationships, as that was the intent of the Sunshine Act. Our data suggests that specialties with a greater amount of intervention, 
like cardiovascular specialties and orthopedic surgery and neurosurgery, for that example, received a greater value of payments from industry, implying a closer relationship with drug device and drug companies. Further studies, which incorporate quality and utilization data, will help improve our understanding of these industry physician financial relationships and how these may affect the healthcare system. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.